Um, welcome to Christmas for day 12. 15? 15. 15. <laughs> Today we're doing a much requested video which is how to start your fitness journey. A while ago I shared my health and fitness journey but I haven't really talked about how to start it. So if you guys are looking to get into health and fitness but you don't really know where to start, especially on the fitness side, this is the video for you. So let's just get straight into it. First things first, um, if you want to take this seriously, I'd recommend you buy some sort of like journal or book so you can keep track of all of your workouts that you make, your goals, progress, your ideas, thoughts, motivational, everything. I've got one here, but this is for other purposes. The first thing I want you to write down is why do you want to start your health and fitness journey? Make a pretty title page, whatever you want to do, but you just need to have why. So then later on, you can refer back to this if you like getting a bit stuck and it just keeps you on track. Next thing, underneath that, I want you guys to write down some goals, whether that be mental health related, uh, performance or physique wise. You can have whatever goals you want, but just make sure they are achievable and not like damaging to yourself. Don't say like, my goal is to become so thin to look like this person. That's not really a good goal. But things like, I want to be able to do a chin up, I want to be able to squat X amount of weight, I want to be able, try and avoid the questions where it's like, I want to feel good in a bikini because it's very hard to achieve that if you're having that mentality because you may think, oh no, I feel even more confident if I just have a bit more of this or a bit less of that and you're never really going to reach that end point. That's what I found. So, so I didn't really say it very clear here, but what I was trying to say is that if you want to become confident in a bikini or whatever, or more happy in your body, you've got to start now. You've got to work on your mental health and being around positive people and working on appreciating yourself for how it is now and not what it's going to look like when you lose X amount of whatever or, or if you gain more. Yes, you may feel confident once you start seeing results in whatever sort of form you want, but if you don't have an endpoint or a specific goal, you're never really going to achieve that. You're just going to keep wanting more and more and more or less and less and less until you just become in a very addictive and unhealthy mindset. So before going to the gym and doing all of them things, I suggest you find some sort of motivators or inspiration to guide you along your health and fitness journey. Whether that be YouTubers, workout channels on YouTube, whether that be a personal trainer, a friend, like a workout buddy, find whoever you can so then they can help you and be here for you along your journey and keep you motivated on track. Another source of motivation could be buying a new activewear so you are all excited to work out in it. You could buy like a yoga mat or stuff that you can use. And also set up some playlists if you're someone who likes to listen to music. I personally don't listen to music just because I don't have headphones. But set up your Spotify playlist, get like cool workout songs, things that you think will motivate you when you're working out and you're not going to get bored. It may also be a vision board like I've shared in many videos. They're like my top source of motivation. Next up is to start off by doing at-home workouts. Don't make it all secretive and stuff. Tell your family, just be like, hey, can we get me a yoga mat or something? Or I want to start working out at home first before going to a gym. Can I do it in this room? Just please don't disturb me. Please don't judge me. Thank you very much. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Because at home, you get to learn the core body movements before jumping straight into heavy weights because it can be really dangerous and very overwhelming going straight into the gym without having any knowledge of working out. So you could maybe try like a fitness ebook or just do workouts on YouTube because at least then you learn lots of different exercises and they're like the starting spot and like the core exercises. Everything at the gym is add-ons of these at-home exercises mostly. And yeah, just start off very basic. Just work on squats, lunges, push-up, crunches, you know, leg drops, some simple ab exercises, burpees, all of that stuff. Get that down pack first. You could also like go for runs and stuff well, but I'll talk about that later on. Next up, you also need to be aware of the nutrition aspect. Oh my god, I can't see. Of working out. So if you want to, if you have specific goals, especially with like your health while working out, you've got to be aware of how to fuel your body before and after a workout. Um... So before you want to make sure you energize with carbohydrates um, and like fruit and stuff, things that release energy fairly quickly so you've got enough energy for the workout and you're not going to get drained and tired. I wouldn't recommend fasting when you're starting off before doing workout if you're doing it in the morning because you just don't know how your body is going to 
work well with that. I prefer to eat before I work out. And then after a workout, you wanna make sure you're getting enough protein in and also some carbohydrates too. So things like eggs, yogurt, protein powder, nuts and stuff like that that have got protein in it is good after a workout because it replenishes your muscles and helps build them as well. Because when you do a workout, you do tear your muscles. So if you want them to grow and you wanna get stronger, you need to be fueling your body for that to happen. Working out is only half of the game. Nutrition is the other part of it. The next step is to slowly progress with equipment. You can still do this at home. You can progress by buying resistance bands and some dumbbells and stuff. You don't need anything too fancy. That will do you just fine. So then you get used to using weight instead of just your body weight. So you can start adding weight with your squats. You can start doing more arm exercises like presses and overhead shoulder presses. Bands are great for your legs and stuff. You can also use them with your arms and like pull them and stuff. If you guys want me to do like a video demonstrating all different exercises for at home workouts for like no equipment and equipment, I'd be happy to do that. Yeah, just start off with the simple stuff. Don't go too crazy. And then once you're comfortable with that and if you want to join a gym, if that's something you're looking to do then by all means go for it speak to your parents about it see what they think check out the gyms around you see what one would be best for you so i know it can be a little bit scary walking to the gym for the first time what i would recommend doing is maybe doing a gym class first because that can kind of introduce you to new exercises and get you familiar with some of the trainers there and also get you involved with some of the equipment otherwise if you do your own stuff before you go, make sure you have a plan written down. So get a book like this and write down, say, workout one. And then pick a muscle that you want to target. You can look up on the internet some exercises and stuff. Make sure you include a warm-up, which needs to be mainly cardio-based. And then include some plyometric exercises, which include things like jumping, jump lunges, more explosive movements, and things that involve multiple parts of your body. And then you move on to the actual proper workout. So to start off, I'd say just pick an exercise, do it three times for a certain amount of reps, find what weight works best for you where it's not killing you, but it isn't too light. You could also do supersets, which is where you pick two exercises. You do say 10 reps of one, 10 reps of the other with no rest in between. Once you've done them both, you rest and go again three times. They are my favorite. You can progress with making fun circuits, fun challenges, you can make ab workouts. Also when I go to the gym, I always have like my written workout, but then I usually do like a workout off of YouTube, like an ab one just to finish me off because I find like they're really good and just fun to shake it up. Make sure you go to the gym with a plan, otherwise you're gonna be wandering, you're not really gonna achieve much, and especially if you're a beginner, you're gonna feel very lost. For your first time, don't be afraid to try out whatever equipment you want. Maybe go with a friend, just so it's a little bit less scary and if you make a mistake, you can laugh about it. The next thing is if you want to and if it's part of your goal, you can track your progress by either writing it down in your book and saying where you're at mentally and all of your goals and stuff, as I said before, or you can take progress photos. That's something I recommend doing, even if your goals aren't based on looks. You can take it like with as much clothing on or whatever you want and just to show your muscle growth and your confidence um, change throughout this time. It can be really good to look back on old photos and just think like, wow, how much have I changed? But yeah, only do that if you want to and if you feel comfortable with that. And my last little point is to be diverse and have fun with it. Just because you wanna start getting into fitness doesn't mean you need to go to the gym. It could be taking up a sport, it could be going for runs or setting yourself like sprint goals or long distance running. It's really so diverse. There's so many different types of workouts you can do. For example, now in my life, gym is only like a small aspect of it. I do more exercise with tennis and dance than I do at the gym. Just because I find it a lot more fun and engaging and I just enjoy like the competition. I still feel fit and healthy. So it's not all about the gym. One last little tip that I'm gonna say, motivation isn't always going to be there, but if you have your goals, if you have your reason why, and if you have your plan, there is no reason for you to feel like giving up or getting bored because there's endless amount of different types of workouts you can do. It can be really fun. You just gotta not get stuck in the same routine. What I've learned most about fitness, it's not about motivation, it's about discipline. So, they are the main tips I've got for starting your fitness journey. It was very 
you know, brief and to the point. Hopefully this is able to help you guys who are looking to get into fitness. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe. I can't see all of that jazz. And I'll see you in my next Christmas video.